one and all, and welcome back to CT! Sentinel Comics right here on the Grouch Couch. What's up, everybody? Hello, welcome, 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 welcome. My name is Turk. I will be your lovely dungeon master for tonight. I appreciate you, all of you, all of you dang peoples around here for joining us right here on the couch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I will be joined, of course, as well as three awful and horrible people that everyone fucking hates. My arch nemesis is Connor, Fishy, and Proteus. Say hello, assholes. Hello, assholes. Hello, assholes. Hello, assholes. See, that's how usually people describe me. On yeah. The couch. Hey, dude, I'm changing it up today. You know what I mean? I'm changing yeah. it up. Yeah, things have well, been changed. We're not grateful for having a DM. I mean, he shows up, he tells us what to do, and tells us when we can and cannot take our own time to do things. But that's okay, because I'm going to go ahead and pass it over off to Proteus. Proteus, you got anything awful to say? Listen, y'all bitches are grounded. Wait till you come on my stream this week. I'll show you what for you little bitches. And I'll pass it off to Connor. Well, let me just see who's in chat here. Let's see. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate. Hate, 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 hate. It loathe entirely. Hate, hate. They're kind of cool. Hate. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's that's me. Yeah. Welcome to the hateful intro, everybody. Um just checking <laughs> this real quick. Yeah. Welcome to the hateful intro. Um and welcome back to C Team. Look! We appreciate y'all for joining us. Hey, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for hanging out and watching here. If you're watching here on Twitch, also thank you so much for being live and being here and being awesome. Um we do uh, we have well, I have some things in store for y'all tonight um, that we're going to get into. But before we do a little bit of homework, hey, how about this? We've been working our butts off thinking about what we're going to do for our next campaign. Because this is episode eight of C-Team, meaning counting this one, we only have three left. Eight, nine, ten, that's it. So we've been working our butts off. We have ideas for commands, a new theme, a new all kinds of stuff. And uh, we're very excited to share it with all of you. But you know what? Before we can get to all the new amazing new stuff, including the amazing bizarre item roll chart that um, we found. Um, we got to finish off this campaign. So that's what we're going to fucking do. Cheers, y'all. Think it's to break all of your hearts. But before that happens, it's intro time. Let's do it. Another day. Nerds, geeks, and freaks. A part of the couch, a part of the crew. Debbie Snacks. Hey, Debbie Snacks. Debbie. Thank you so much for subscribing. 33 it's a tree, months. Tree. Holy tree, Jesus, tree. Debbie. Aggressively supportive. Well, Thank you so much. Well, there's Debbie. Mm -hmm. That's a lot there, months. It is. Congratulations on your wedding. <laughs> See? Do, 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 Even do. Brodius doesn't forget. That's right. Um, I have no well, idea what it's about. Me either. But that's comedy. Well, 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 <laughs> heroes, here we are once again. We return to our story in Intox City, in District 69, right where we left off last time. You heroes have gotten off the boat with the families that you rescued from the Biomancer Island. You've parked your boat, your stolen ship, in a secret marina nearby on the edge of District 69, and you've recovered your car, Plowsy, and are headed back to your hideout in the car. All of you sit in the car, headed back to the hideout, and you think 
of the conversations you had on the boat before you got off of it. Even Police Chief Colonel Sanders told each of you he is going to try and follow up on a lead that he has as to where to find the old heroes of Intox City and where they're being held currently. And in a few days, he will contact you to give you this information. Additionally, Astral, you had a couple of minutes to speak to your family on the boat. Did you decide to do so? Um, I, I gave a little, like, wink and a nod to my brother, but I, I didn't talk to them. I didn't want them to... I didn't want to make things harder for Ginger when they get home. Okay. That is fair. So, my brother and I made eye contact, but I didn't say anything. All right. While we ride in the car, do the Wild Brothers speak to each other? Well, it's it's very confusing. Um, it's confusing they're both kind of mad at each other, and Wild Chip is almost like wants to scold him as a father but now isn't a father in fact a brother but he's still a young boy so he doesn't quite know how to deal with life and shit did he like um, fill him in on the whole thing he he tried to fill me in on the whole thing and it it kind of makes sense but then it kind of doesn't but i get it now like I have to treat him as a brother and not a son? I don't know. We gotta get to, down to the bottom of it, really. Yeah, but that's tough. tough I to mean, what with. came first? Uh, the wild shape or the wild boy? Who's who's really the clone? That's what it's we don't know. It's funny because, it, yeah, you know... Things. Activate. Draw a card! Ooh, oh, wild God, shape. edgy. Yes, yes. It's funny because the chicken and the egg and Wild Shape's known for transforming into a chicken, which makes that fun. Yeah. All right, buddy. You want to roll that D100 for me? No, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said in the intro, we have some really fun roll charts we're going to be using on our next campaign for all of you guys in chat in the Court of Chaos 25. to cause chaos. All right, so stay tuned for that shit. It's going to be sick. 25. What you done do to me, Edgy? See. Metagaming. You may ask the GM one question and he will answer honestly. Who's the real supervillain that's orchestrating this whole damn thing? Give me. Hmm. The real supervillain in which sense? Because I could just say Black Dagger, and that is honest. Would you like to reform your question? Supervillain means one, which is not the company of supervillains. Um, right. you, guys, you guys got any ideas? Hmm? Who is the head of the organization of Black Dagger? Oh, not everybody at once. Jesus Christ. Who is the leader of Black Dagger? Someone close. Someone you've met. Someone you know. But the person you least expect. Arwen Jr. Yeah, I got nothing, guys. I have no idea. Well, mm. it was worth a shot, Edgy. It was. All right. They asked the question. Spoil the whole campaign. <laughs> you could ask <laughs> me anything. That's what you decided on. So I give you something very vague and awful. That's what I give you. All right. Arriving. Turn this a little bit. Arriving back at the hideout. You guys are driving in the car. And as you drive, though... So I don't even want to do that. I'm going to put it back where it was. As you drive, you feel... Oh, loudest. Probably okay. Arriving back at the hideout, the air feels dense. Tensions feel 
high in the car. Photographer, to you even, as you look out the window, something seems off. You three park plowsy in your usual place, hidden behind a wall somewhere to keep it out of sight. As you step out of the car, photographer, your ears perk up. As you hear the muffled grumbles of pain coming from the office hut at the front of the storage property. And you rush over. This is not what I thought it was. Turn it down. You rush over to hear the muffled grumbles of pain coming from the office hut, the front of the storage property. As, and you rush over. Arriving there, you see the windows are all busted out. There's glass all over the ground, some like blood splatters. Your military brain immediately scans the ground. You see bullet shells about. You hold out your gun. You look down at the ground to see leaning up against the wall is the storage owner. He's bleeding out on the ground. He's been stabbed and shot repeatedly. He reaches up as you approach and grabs you by your lapel. And he says, Michael Krieger, I told you this place was only for storing property, not (coughs) living. They came. I tried to stop them. I tried, Michael. I tried to (coughs) protect your property as I promised. I'm (coughs) sorry. (coughs) Blood comes out of his mouth. He exhales his last breath. Oh no, not my landlord. I like that guy. You say that, but then your stomach drops. Your first thought. First of all, another casualty to your heroism. This shit has to stop. But then your stomach drops as you turn to see the door to your storage unit cracked open and broken. You rush over to meet up with the other three. You three stand in front of the door, slightly ajar. The air is dense and heavy. What do you do as you stand there? Do you enter? Yeah. I'm gonna lift up the garage door. As soon as you lift up the door, you hear the sound of static shock, like electricity sparking. You step inside, you three, one by one. You head down the stairs. You can hear these sounds of electricity sparking, the drip of water. Below, the lights are off, but they're flashing from the sparks. You slowly step down the stairs, one step at a time, guns out. As you get to the bottom, you see your whole place has been ransacked. Things thrown about, dressers and drawers knocked over and pulled out, TVs destroyed. You step further into the room. And hold on one second. Uh... That song wasn't what I thought it was, so now I'm picking a different one. Pause! Okay, play! You see all the TVs and shit knocked over. You step further into the room and you see on the ground, in the center, behind a knocked over table, in parts, is General Electric. He doesn't look good. He is pretty fucked up. His machine gun arms have been ripped off. His door is all bent and out of whack. And the face on the front is kind of buzzing in and out. He sees you and he says, Hello, sir. General. What what happened? I didn't 
to 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 tell them anything. I to tr 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 tried to defend our home. You did. You did your best. Please forgive me for not be be being able to stop them. It's all right, General. I I didn't tell them anything. We need to find out who fucking broke my watch machine. Sir, 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 it was. He, he, he knew. Sir, sir, it was. His light goes out. You want to rip out his CPU and put it in the car? Damn. Two dead bodies in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Photographer, you turn to look at the wall and you could see on the wall in red spray paint, large letters, black dagger will prevail. I have nothing to say. I only have things to do now. Is Julia Squeezer okay? Oh no. The cage has been cracked. Julia Squeezer is out somewhere in the hideout. Motherfucker! Damn, they even let your snake out. Heartless people. What are we going to do, Krieger? We'll make this right. One way or another. We're going to make this right. Not only it's right, like a but even. Torch. Maybe more than even. I'm going to kill them all. Every last one. Okay, so at this point right now, your guys' hideout has been destroyed. It's been compromised. Um, you guys know here soon you're going to get a lead. The police chief, Colonel Sanders, is going to be calling you to help you to dig deeper into Black Dagger and find where the old heroes are. Maybe even find another one of the Black Dagger hideouts in the process. But before that happens, you have a couple of days of downtime. So you have a lot of thinking to do. You can clean up your mess, maybe go shopping, tie up some loose ends. You know it's going to be a few days before the chief calls you, so you can do whatever you like. It is free time. Of course, you can scratch that all together and call him and just fucking head where you got to go. But if not, will you guys please explain to me what you're doing in this three-ish days of montage time? Well, and we're also I consider this healing time, so we're going to get three days of healing would be enough time to get all the way back up. Well, fuck. I'm pissed. Uh, I'm motherfucking pissed. Yeah. Uh, normally I think I would heal, but I think I'm just gonna be gearing up. Okay. You could try to fix general. You could spend a day doing that. Uh, I'll yes, I will definitely spend one of the days trying to fix General. Right, Astro, you have a, a addition. Well, I mean, like I'm very used to camp raids. That this is this is kind of just something I grew up with. It, I can, I I immediately, honestly, General Electric is beyond repair. But if his CPU is still mostly intact, he was able to still talk to us, we can literally rip that out and fuse it into the car. We can put it in Plowsy, and he is now officially mobile and with us and able to do everything the car can do. Because that's not how Skynet was born or anything. I mean, yes. You Additionally, you have a robot, the power got- of mobility. I mean, we let you join the team and you're a clone. True. 
<laughs> Wait, who's to say that I'm the clone, all right? Maybe Wild Boy is the actual clone. I still have plenty of oranges if you want to have a contest over it. You know, you know, you can just keep those things to yourself, all right, Astro? God knows what will happen. I mean, I can't afford to f turn into another puddle and be transported into some other laboratory. Yeah, but we learned that if you are a clone, you're transferring data back to the bad guys that help them find everything that we're doing and saying. You don't think that the entire city has already been controlled by clones at this point? Like, the only ones that are pretty much left is, well, us, Colonel Sanders, and well, that's about it. Well, we're the only ones left to be able to stop this. You sure you won't take them chances? <clears throat> I know that the quicker you get me the Black Dagger, the quicker I can exact revenge. True. Yeah, and the quicker so, that you get yourself killed is the faster you will be dead. I don't you can't care just go I run in guns of blood. Nobody and... cares if I die in the process. Well, what I about me and Astral, all right? And Wild Boy. Well, and you... shit, General Electric. I bet he cares about you too. He wouldn't have given his life to let you die. Now, calm down, everybody, and let's quit pointing fingers and figure out a way to at least figure out where they're at. Whatever. I need to get ready. What are you going to do? Load so, your two guns? As Jesus an addition, Christ. <laughs> takes them so a second. Emotional. As an addition, um, you have a lot of money. And you could, I mean, you could build a new general. Doesn't have to be the car. You could be a fucking mech suit. You know what I mean? But it's up to you guys. Whatever you want to do, how do just we go buy. out into the city and spend money? Disguises. Ain't nothing but clones out there. True. Yeah, but only half of them are controlled now. True. So what's scarier, uncontrolled clones? I mean, my fear of clones kind of went out the window when I saw you melt into a puddle. I'm, I, I'm kind of over my fear of clones and the fact that, listen, like them seeing us on the street doesn't concern me as much as the fact that clone you was in the hideout and everywhere with us. You know, you, you were feeding back the most sensitive information. So I'm not worried if a couple clones see me on the street. All right. But I this would like to, I would like to take it. I'm going to take out the CPU of General Electric for sure. Nice. I, I'm going to go ahead and scrap the parts of General Electric out. Nice. Uh, I'm going to salvage what I can based on like back home salvaging stuff from old tech. Like I'm just going to start salvaging him out. Nice. Um, for now, I am in fact going to just like... Because like me healing, like my body heals really quickly so it's just it's i just have to be patient with it but i can do things in the spare time of i'm going to fuse him into kind of the car as part of the cpu but i would like to upgrade him i'm, I'm making it so it can he can be taken out and once maybe we if wild shape and wild boy want to go on a trip to the city so photographer can have some time to himself or if photographer wants to come with that's fine too but we can go and see what we can find at some hardware stores Maybe okay. go incognito. Nice. Uh, and we and can maybe see if we can get some parts. If you want to do this, um, all I'm going to need from you is an overcome action, and you can use your multiverse skill um, as a part of this um, to see how well you kind of integrate general, to see if he comes out with any new funny quirks, um, or if you just do it perfectly and he gets some extra stuff. Additionally, this is a montage scene, so you guys can kind of just explain what you do. Tell me what you get at the hardware store. Tell me what you build. You've got three days to do it. Big montage, so no skill checks. The world is your oyster, right? Montage. 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 What the fucking montage. So I have a mechanic that I think I'd like to try. Deck maybe maybe we can count it as a... Uh... <laughs> Like, uh, health points, but not exactly. 
Okay. What about armor points? Uh, um, you can. There's a defend action in this book that gives you the ability to be able to defend um, a certain amount of HP. You know what I mean? Um, so you could do it that way. Um, you could use it as a way to get a boost that then allows you to defend a certain amount of damage before you take damage, right? And what I'll do is it'll either be like 1d6 damage per attack that you take. You can reduce that damage to the armor, or it can just be a total of like 20 and you can, or 10, because there's HP is kind of low in this game, of 10 and then- All for initiative. Yeah. A new person uh, sits on the couch. Ooh, hello, Frost Raven. Thanks so much for the follow. Hello, Welcome to the shit show. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the options. But first, uh, Astral, you got a two. Well, but you said to use uh, my, my multiverse knowledge, which is part of my principle of time travel yeah. ability, yeah. which allows me to overcome a, a problem using knowledge of your home era with using your max die. Ooh. Okay. Wow. So, and Max is good. Max is great. Max is everything. That's what you want right there. So, we're going to go here real quick. Max. Eight. The action completely succeeds. Wow. Exciting. Good. So, the action completely succeeds. And we're going to have to touch on that more in a minute. First, we're going to let Photographer tell us a little bit about what they're doing. But first, Photographer gets a draw card. So, if you want to go ahead and roll me. 100 AD 100 for me, buddy. Let's do that. Yes, sir. Seventy-four. Is she's favorite number? God damn it! It's the same one you keep getting. Roll it again. Only truth. Only truths. Subscribe to the photographer's only truth. That's right. 55. You gain the ability to speak one language of your choice for one day. I choose to speak that weird language that Black Dagger speaks. Nice. Or the aliens? The alien language. Nice. Smart. Hell yeah. All right. Photographer. You're speaking of armor. While Astral's kind of fidgeting with General, what are you doing? Well, I'm uh, rummaging through some old boxes. Yeah. And I managed to find it. My armor that I had when I was in the military. Uh, I only take this out on special occasions. And I say <laughs> this is pretty fucking special. Yeah. I need to kill a lot of people. And be light and fast. So this is how I'm going to do it. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Let's see if I can stick these in here. Just like that. All right, so have you chosen, do you want to do a 1d6 every time you're attacked? And, uh, I think I'll maybe do 1d4. Or would you like to be a total armor value that degrades? A total armor value that degrades. All right. So why don't you roll me an overcome and we'll see how good this boost is and we'll judge the armor value off of that. Let's see. Could I use battle hardened? Haha, <laughs> literally. Yes. <laughs> I'm in yellow status. And what for powers? Vitality? Sure. All right. It's all eights. It's a four. It's not great. It's not great. But it'll do. We'll do 10 armor. All right. Four. So I'll just yeah. add that 10 armor to my current health then. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's an easy way to do it. Wild shape. What say you? 
So me and Wild Kid or Wild Boy, we've been training. Pet back I got on the Rocky music. I like that shit. It says non copyright. So, we so we'll see. We're fighting each other, training together. I'm gonna be using him as my next minion during this next fight. So we've been working on a lot of combo wombo combo chicken fight moves. That's right. So when we're gonna get ready, we didn't have to focus any of our time on healing before because we did not get touched during that last episode. So we're ready. And I would like to, I mean, for us, like, could I just possibly use a couple of like wild boys green abilities during fights? But if, if it they, would still if happen if they make on sense my turn. And yeah. they're fun enough? Hell yeah, yeah. Maybe like so you we, could be the D12 and he'll take the action. You know what I mean? Yeah, we could like yeah. flip flop back and forth. Yeah. So that's what we've been doing. Just training, preparing ourselves. We're like, you could hear us like arguing in that night and shit. Like, hey, I thought I told you to take out the trash. And he's like, you're not my dad no more. You can't tell me what to do. You're my brother. And then like come over there and give him a noogie. So... <laughs> it's fun times over here. <laughs> I love that. So, as a total visual, photographers like cogging his guns and putting on vests, and you guys are like punching bags. And I picture Astral with like a welding helmet for some reason. Bzz, bzz, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like preparing to fight back. Love it. Love it. Uh, all right. Any other additions before we move forward here? Uh, oh, I guess we need to talk a little bit about what General Electric ends up to be as you put him in the car. Do you have like an idea of what he's going to be in the car? Like maybe what is your action completely succeeds, So you can kind of do whatever you like here. Um, I mean, I would like to give him the free reign to use Plowsy's like, I'm not saying I'm secretly renaming him to General Plowsy, but, uh, <laughs> He's no longer an appliance. He's now a mega car. Nice. Uh, but no, nice. I'm going to give him f free reign over the like fighting capabilities of the uh, of the, the vehicle. Car. Nice. Um, also, the ability of if I am not in the car, much like he did that one time, uh, drive the car. It, it is now self-driving. Uh, nice. Pretty cool. Uh, is there like I, any like personality traits you want to reprogram into him? I mean, I kind of like General Electric. We always gotten along. Um, I I would like him to. Um, in the meantime, I have found maybe like a couple of pieces that were maybe corrupted, like uh, parts where like I see where some like wires and switches got like kind of like singed or fucked up when we stuck that uh. USB from the real mayor uh, into the thing. And I found some parts that were kind of fucked up from that. So I'm going to redo them nice and clean without any of the singed. I'm work I'm not doing good with words in my brain today. No, nah, you got but, it. Uh, I, I'm understanding everything. You got it. But yeah, no, like a little singed part. I'm, I'm cleaning up his circuitry and making it nice and clean and kind of getting things out of there. And Wait. maybe hooking up some better signals to him and in, in integrating it into the car so while we're moving he doesn't lose any sort of like scanning capabilities or you know he, nice. he's now got a wider range nice. it's no longer based on being in the basement it's now he can essentially scan scenarios while we're moving through i picture like he's like this little oh, radio guy, man, guys yeah he, damn he's like a little radio and you like put him in the radio slot but you could like pull him out of the radio slot and little like robotic spider legs come out. You know what I mean? And he could like, tick, 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 like walk around if you take him out of the radio spot. But you like, you push him in there and it like clicks. You know what I mean? And then it's like, <laughs> hello, man. Yeah, it is. Hello. How are we feeling, buddy? Good. Thank you. Good. Well, I'm a car now. We you are a car now we just missed you too much we had to bring you back although i did love washing clothes this is a new upgrade 
Well, you can slosh all. Well, see, this is the fun thing about a car is you got all the liquids that go through the car, like all the oils and stuff. So you can cycle those as much as you like. Cycling oil. Would you like me to run this as a task? You know what? Go for it, buddy. Cycling now. Oil cycled. Success. How does that feel up against, you know, maybe doing some laundry? Is that equally as fun? Hmm. Ask again later. Sounds good. Uh, one second. Photographer! Get up here! Okay. General Plowsy, say hello. Hello, photographer. Hey, man. Are you, are you feeling all right? Yes. I am a car now. Yeah, you are. Listen, I'm going to fucking kill everybody that did this to you. So you, you shouldn't have to worry about it, all right, bud? No, wait, you say, I'm gonna kill everyone that does this to you, and the car, like, turns, and, like, machine guns come out of the car, and he's like, Astro, photographer said he's going to kill you for doing this to me. Shall I eliminate him? No, 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 no. No, no the people who destroyed your mach washing machine body. Oh. Yes. He goes back to being a car. Jesus so, Christ. Right Right before you passed out, you said who it, you were going to say who it might have been that uh, took you down, buddy. Do you remember? No. Do you remember anything out. from the night of no, the attack on the lair? I remember feeding Julius Squeezer. That's it? Andy? That's Anything it. else? Do you remember the time? No. Fair enough. We'll work on trying to get some of your memory back, buddy. But good news, you're looking pretty good. You should still be wired into all of our headsets, so you should still be able to talk to us whenever you like or whenever you need to. You don't have to be sneaky and try to, like, get, like you know, just butt into conversations on cell phones. You now are hooked nice. in. All in all of your guys, just yours, photographer, like just in yours. Hello, sir. Hi, General. Good to speak to you. Good to speak to you too, buddy. Good to know. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, this is how it happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how Skynet happens. I just can't, man. You get you gave a robot a free will. He's you gave a robot free it. will. It's so, all that's that's it. We're done. Hello, sir. We're that's just it. a bunch of meat bags at this point. You Everything. go go out there, make a bunch of general plowsy babies. It's gonna be awful. He's gonna go out there and procreate. Procreate. <laughs> no, procreate. Yeah. Pro, like a procreate. Jesus Christ. So, Wild Shape, I got a question for you, buddy. What's that? So, if you and Wild Boy are brothers and not not father and son, I, I thought you mentioned his him having a mom. And you having oh, a wife. See. Yeah, all that's kind of fuzzy now. Oh. Like, like it's implanted memories? Uh, more like implanted memories. Like, I could oh. always remember that I had a wife, but I was never really sad that she was dead. Do you understand? I mean, that's uh, fair, I guess. What? The music's really loud. Oh. Maybe Proteus is really quiet. Proteus is really quiet on my side. Am I? 
Oh, hold on. Is that better? A wall. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, how about that? Is that better? Okay. <sighs> Sorry. Sure. Oh, I was muted. This is, uh, I don't know how long I was muted for. Probably too long. Should I say what I said again? Probably. After sure. a few days of downtime, you get a phone call and your phone rings. And then it's like, hello, is this code name? Give me, wait, what's your code name? You're gonna make me say it. Or you could come up with one now. All right. Uh, this is a uh, code name War Daddy. War Daddy. Okay. This is code name uh, Kentucky Fried. <coughs> uh, it's a police chief, Colonel Kentucky Fried. Uh, Got it. Anyways. I, uh, are you, are you with the team? The C team? Yeah, we're all here. You, you want to put me on speaker? Sure. <laughs> hey, hey guys, it's Kentucky Fried. So, I, uh, Are we going back to the new, oh, are we going back to code names? Yeah. What was yours again? Her Purple lightning! Uh, ah! Okay. All right. Purple lightning. Noted. Uh, so, I, uh, I've got a lead on where they're keeping the uh, brain-dead, uh, retired old heroes of Intox City. They're, uh... They, you ain't gonna like it. Okay. All right, so over the past three days, I've done some research and went through all of our documents and our files, and I've followed around the mayor secretly. She still thinks I'm I'm with her, so, you know. Uh, anyways, uh, I followed her around. They're being held in the basement of the mayor's manor. And uh, it sucks because she's got a lot of security, but later this very afternoon, the mayor as a public speaking event so she will be out of her home for some time and security may be down so it might be a good time for our attack okay well I'm as game as anybody else is let's get it yeah. done okay <laughs> I like what Proxima said if at any point you can give me a call the panic code is can I get a three piece with a biscuit that's the panic code that sounds dry it is right. <laughs> Dry like the Sahara Desert. <laughs> no water? Well, yeah, Jesus water. Christ. Yeah. Water cups ain't free anymore. This is 2023. All right. I mean, this is 2077. Anyways, uh, yeah, if you're game good, I'm going to go on ahead and directly send the code, uh, the directions over to... Uh, but I was going to send them over to your robot... I can't. I can't find the IP anymore. It won't. It won't send. What? What happened? Well, somebody. Don't worry about it. Out. Okay. 
I won't worry they about it then. Destroyed him. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Is there somewhere you want me to send the coordinates? Just send it to this device. Okay, I'll send them right here. I'll, I'll take a screenshot. I'll send it over. Now look, going in there, be careful. Uh, there's usually a lot of security. They're down in the basement. I don't know how you're going to get there, but from the research I've done, they're doing tests on these guys, and, um, you know, same kind of the same shit they were doing to our wild friends. So um, just be careful. Got it. Okay. Uh, Kentucky Fried. Over and out. And then you get a text message right after. And you look at it, and uh, it's like misspelled letters. And then he's like, oops. And then there's the directions to where you're going. I love this cell phone thing. You know, I, we didn't get to do cell phone things in Fantasy World. There's no cell phones in Fantasy World. There's no phones. So in here, in this world, it's fun to do phone things. You know what I'm saying? General Plowsy, prepare to receive coordinates. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Prepare, Why are you sir? acting like the cell phones are brand new? Like, we've yeah, had cell phones for years. It was, it's fantasy world. You know, there's no phones for you guys to send a raven. God, I hate that. No, you would just uh, magically teleport information into our minds. Duh. Oh, true, huh? It's true no huh. different than a cell phone. It's like yeah. the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Uh, okay, so. You guys have the coordinates. You give them to General Plowsy. That feels weird to say. Um, electric 2.0. Um, so, now you guys can take Plowsy. You can go in disguises. You can go on the bus if you want to. Um, you can do whatever you like. However you get to this coordinates is kind of up to you. Far. I don't know. No, we're you taking know? General. She's yeah, okay. we're, we're taking General EP, man. All right. So, you all head out then and head to General Plowsy. You and bet, this here, better be cranking that bluegrass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One second. Well, it reminds me of home. And I think it does the same for Astral. A little bit. And for some reason, it seems to calm Wild Boy down to a mediocre annoyance. So that's really nice. Hey, and hey, then it brings listen, the annoyance. I did a level. lot of work while you were gone. Me and Wild Boy bonded. Well, bonded? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna yeah. try to use this time to load. It means one of my abilities to load. Is that good? Is that good? As you approach, <laughs> that's what you hear. Yeah. Rash grass, he's upgraded. No, I need some, not the copyright. Here we go. Yeah, well, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Y'all mind uh, if we stop by the KFC on the way in? Man, I sure could go for a bucket right about now. I don't know. I thought now, you were going to say three I pieces. Now I 100% believe your brothers. <laughs> uh, got Can your I... crash, but what are popping? Hi, Scott. What's up, dude? Um, we'll be back to normal by next Sunday. I'll be negative and feel 100% again. Dude, sick, bro. Hey, we're wrapping up this campaign, but we're very excited for our next one. We have some new commands, some new things you'll probably enjoy, my friend. So make sure to come around. New costumes. That's right. Enjoy the tree outs. That's right. That's right. Okay. You all three hop in the car. And I love the idea of chill ass bluegrass playing while General Electric is revving the engine. It's like. <laughs> And you guys like peel off on the street and start heading towards the mayor's manor. Do you mind and if I use this time to load? Sure. Go ahead, buddy. Using one of my abilities. Great bonuses. Ooh, so it's uh I'm using my max and my mid die to create two separate bonuses. Alright. Nerds, geeks, and freaks. A part of the couch, a part of the crew. Hey, Tazon! Hey, Tazon! 
Mead. That's right, Tazad. Thank you so much, buddy. Nah, 39 months, my friend. Cheers to you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for a part of the couch, a part of the crew, buddy. Say. Say. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Um, okay. Photographer. Points rain from above. Dazan! Dazan! Thanks for 100 bits, dog. Appreciate you. Thanks for supporting the show. Yeah, man. You fucking rock. Um, all right, photographer. Do you have to roll for load? Yeah, I already did. I got a nine and a five, so as, if I'm not mistaken, that's a plus three and a plus two, right? You got it. We're learning. Look at us, huh? Who'd have thought? <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Um, let me fix this. I don't like the way it looks. Okay, so that is where we are going to end our first act tonight, which means we're going to take a short little break and then we're going to come back and we're going to get the fuck back into the story. Um, so that's where we're at. And before we go, um, I was going to do a thumbnail and then my brain froze. I don't know what the hell happened. Um, in these little costumes here, and especially with the new hairdo, I'm gonna need me a good pose. Um, I want to do like kind of like a like mask ripping off the face kind of thing, but I can't get the angle. Right. Everybody, lean in. There you go. Oh, shit. Here we go. That's a good one. All right. We'll be right back, everybody. In a couple of minutes, don't fucking go anywhere. What's up? <laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, we'll be right back in a couple of minutes. Wow. Hey. Wow. wow. Oh. Jesus. Coming in here, calling us nerds. Wow. 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 Hello, everyone. You. Welcome back to C Team, right here on the Grouch Couch. I am Turkey, and I'm here with Connor Fishy and Proteus, the most hated and ugly people in the whole fucking world. So, thank you so much for joining us. Um, even though we are like awful. You don't like the bad <laughs> intros, but that's what we're doing I, today. That's the theme. I mean, all right. To we'll think give it a I shot. let you enter my home. My home. Yes. I thought I raised you better than this young man. You yes. didn't raise me at all, Proteus. You you're absent my entire childhood. The worst father of the year. Years, actually, now that I think about it. Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely god awful. And their makeup also terrible. And your other father Connor, should have swallowed you. Connor farts too much. Go ahead, Connor. Now nah, we're just gonna get right back into this shit, y'all. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. This is episode eight of CT, and we have three episodes left right here, eight, nine, and ten. Then we're gonna be doing a little off-season thing, and we have some crazy-ass new cool shit in store for y'all, so be excited. New costumes, new theme, new campaign, as well as a multitude of amazing new commands for chat, all right? So stay tuned for that shit. Um, that moment you think in your manager's inspiration on upgrades and oh, shit! I don't know what that means. But all right, we're getting right back into the show here. You ready? Y'all ready? Sure. Now, no. do we all speak at once now? <laughs> well, we're trying not to. That's right. Yeah, that's the whole point of this shit. That's right. So, you three, now, as we left off, you got the coordinates for the mayor's manor in town. At the beginning of this episode, Black Dagger has infiltrated your hideout. Nerds, geeks, and freaks. A part of the couch, a part of the crew. Hell yeah, Nate. What's up, buddy? For Turk to take his shirt off. Oh, dude. If TOS would allow it, I'd be in there. But you don't want to see that. But it's the intrigue. Keeps them coming back. You know what I mean? Keeps them coming back. Thanks, Nate. Cheers, buddy. Hey. I mean, you wouldn't be able to handle what's under that shirt anyways, Nate. Like, I've seen yeah. it. Oof, man. Yep. What's under there? I got there? huge Two nipples, dude. They're like... They're like this big. It's my whole chest. And an extra one. But he doesn't yeah. like to talk about that. I have you three got of them. full pancake nipples? 
Yeah, there's ginormous. You holding out on me? I want to yeah, see those. Let's be accurate. Those are just yeah. the areola. When we talk that's about it. his actual nipple, the part that protrudes, that's about as big as my thumb here. Yeah. He's got it. You're holding <laughs> out on me? I love weird body shit. <laughs> yep. And I why have pictures. a six pack, Nate, when you can have a keg? You know what I'm talking about? All right. Anywho. <laughs> yeah, LB, I am craving pepperonis now. Damn it. <laughs> we must be pregnant. <laughs> Say what? <Thomas? laughs> this whole time, I had no idea. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, goodness. So. Black Dagger infiltrated your hideout and destroyed General Electric. True. Destroyed all of your things. You yeah. rebuilt, General. Gathered up your items. Filled your rage in your bodies and headed out to the mayor's hideout to help the old heroes escape and hopefully break down another Black Dagger hideout. Sorry, you do. Immaculate conception on my end. Yes. <laughs> now, you three are driving in Plowsy. General Plowsy. As he plays bluegrass, they're driving down the road together. Now, up ahead, you can see the mayor's manor. It sits atop a hill, in a sense. Let's see if we got a background for us. Let's see. If you pull up some Scooby-Doo haunted mansion photo, I'm going to be very upset with you. <laughs> I promise not. Uh, it sits atop a hill, built off the edge and it's cyberpunk futuristic glory. It's very nice, the nicest house home in the neighborhood. There is a large gate surrounding the outside, of course, and a couple of century towers scattered about. You guys are down the street in General Plowsy. How would you like to approach the mayor's home? Who's driving? Well, General is, of course. Or Astral, yes. I mean, I'm in the front seat. It's my car, but... Yeah. Right. He drives it. Is it now? Because now your car's a person, kind of. Not really, but yeah. yeah. Uh, well... And only if we yes, would have named Plowsy Lee instead, then we could have totally had the General Lee right now, and it just upsets me entirely. We Let's... could have been the Duke boys. God oh, damn no. it! Oh no! <laughs> so, uh, listen up, guys. I was just gonna do this out of my fit of rage, but out of respect for you. Do you mind if I go in loud and proud? I mean, sure. Doesn't doesn't General Lee Plowsy have like abilities when running into shit? I'm yes. sorry, that's gonna be his name now. He does have abilities. Now, here's my oh. additional question. Did you guys bring oranges or orange rounds with you? Uh, I literally always have oranges on me. I am terrified to touch them. Okay. Hi. Hi. All right. Okay. That was my question. All right. Continue on. All right. Well, I'm just going to lean over and I'm going to push uh, Astral's knee down on the gas. Oh, shit. <clears throat> oh, shit. I need to remember exactly what Plowsy stats were. Is this Plowsy? That ain't Plowsy. Nope, that's, that's an alien. That, that is that right, my next spouse. That right there, that's an alien. All right, let's find Plowsy stats real quick so we can actually make sure we play this correctly if we even choose to do so. Um, let me see. Plowsy stats, where are you? If I can fucking find them. Shame on Turkey for not organizing his stuff. Ha ha. Shame. I mean, you I mean, weren't expecting us to make General Plowsy. That's very true. All right. Heavy plated metal truck has one ability run over. The heavy plated mega truck makes an attack. It may then end up anywhere in the scene. And it is Can a D10 drive minion. into the basement. Uh, no, I said you, you, we're driving through this front gate. Yeah. And so. like, I mean, uh, Wild Shape, you weren't here for that, but like, we could drive into the basement, but I'd like Krieger to stay like as upright as possible and not throwing up. Hmm. You threw up? Hmm. Yeah. So what we're going to do 
is General Electric is going to make an overcome action using his D10 to see if he can just plow through this gate. If he can, you can end up anywhere on the property, which I will explain afterwards. Um, but for now, he's got to make that check. Now, being that Astral, you're driving, but also photographers driving. Y'all can decide who gets to make that roll, that D10 roll. Who's going to do it? I was going to say, it's your truck, but it's my AI, so... <laughs> yeah. What? Well, you push down on... <laughs> you can roll What? What are you laughing um, at? Actually, we can't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> Speak English. Because <laughs> Krieger pressed down on my leg. I was like, how hard do you want to push my leg, buddy? Let's go. All right, so Krieger gets to roll it. Krieger. All right. Yeah. I'm going to use uh, speed, maybe. Sure. Well, you, yeah. you just roll a d10. Just a d10. Oh, just a d10. God. Yeah, that is Plowsy's dice. Generally, Plowsy. I don't know how I feel about a confederate symbol as a, as Plowsy. Oh, hell no. There's no confederate symbol on the General Whoops. Lee Plowsy. Whoops. Hold on. Oh, what the Movie opens. Are a menace. The mutants are a menace. Oh, my goodness. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I imagine it being like a gigantic GCD20 on top of it. <laughs> Hi, Yugi. Um, so, seven. Unless chat wants to help you with plus ones and things. Seven. The action succeeds, but with a minor twist. I'll take the minor twist. It's like, I'll take it. I'll take that shit. Yes. All right, let me look at my minor twist chart here. Mmm. Ooh. Here's what happens. As you, photographer, since you're the one making this action, we're going to make it solely happen to you. You slam down an Astro's leg, and Plowsy goes flying through this gate. And the two doors just open. The gate does. But as it does, you see an electrical spark come off of the gate from the gate being electrified. And it goes right in through the windshield and hits you in your chest while you're pushing down on Astral's leg. And we're not going to make Astral take any damage from this, because fuck you. But your minor twist is that you are going to lose access to one of your green abilities because of this. God damn it. You get to pick. That is a minor twist I haven't used yet, so... I'm going to lose my ability of principle of the powerless. A principle? All right. I'll take it. It's a green ability I have. Yeah. So, in a sense, when it shocks you, there's just something in your head that just makes you forget that that even exists. That's even a thing. Okay. All right. Now, as you break through the gate, then you get out of this electrical shock, and all of you are like, ah! As you're just going straight into the gate, you see all these Black Dagger guards. There's some, like, about in the garden, across behind some trees. You see there are a couple, like, in the guard towers by the front gate, right? But you just jam all the way through. Now, you can see the manor up on the hill. You can see there's, like, a large car park area um, that looks like you see it has like some stairs going up in you see it for like a second and then over the other side there's like this porch that goes into like a front door there are windows all around it's like a three-story building it's fucking huge there's a way around the back around like a bunch of hedges and like bushes and trees that you guys could go plowsy gets to end up anywhere now in the scene after this overcome action as their ability says where does plowsy end up is the car comes to a halt. I'd say uh, after smashing through the gate, he does like a cool like 180 like slide and he ends up right in front of the front door 
And all of his fucking weapons shoot out of him. Which we don't have stats for. That's definitely like a homebrew fucking thing. But if we want him to attack one of the... At the front door, there are absolutely two Black Dagger guards standing there. If we wanted one smooth action, him to also attack one of them, we can do that by rolling his D10 as well. Uh, I'd actually rather have him hit one of the sentry towers. Okay, so his weapons come out. He could shoot the towers behind you. I'm cool with that. There's two of them. So you could do like the one on the left, the one on the right. The one on the left. All right, roll his D10. That's a six. Here's what's gonna happen. These are all minions out here. These are Black Dagger minions. So the Black Dagger minions add a D6. They're gonna roll a D6. If they meet it, they succeed. They go down a size. If they get lower than a D6, they fail and they perish. These are bullets. Wild shape, they perish. That's a three. The gun shoots off. It just completely lights up the whole guard tower. And you could see just like blood coming out and you could hear screams like, and then the tower crumbles. In this moment, do all three of you jump out of the car? Yep. Yep. All right. Um, <coughs> Wasn't it four of us? Is it Wild Boy with us as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, four yeah, of yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All four of you hop out of the car, and I'm putting our scene tracker <laughs> into green status. That was like an intro kind of like panel. We're now moving into green status. Now, for those of you guys just tuning in, the way initiative works in this system is the person that previously went gets to pick the next person to go and everyone in the scene has to go before the scene ends. Once the scene ends, it moves forward a space. As you can see over here, it goes green, yellow, red. That's what it is. These guys have whatever it is, nine rounds to be able to finish and accomplish whatever the fuck they're trying to do. All right. Now, before you guys hop out of the car, you can see there are two guards posted at the door. There are a bunch a ways back, a couple hundred yards in the garden. It seemed like they're about to start rushing up. And there's one of them with a sniper in the tower that's still standing. All four of you hop out of the car. Being photographer, you just kind of picked, you made Plowsy go. I'm not going to let you take your turn now, but I'm going to let you pick someone else to go. And then they'll let you go after, all right? Or they'll pick whoever else. Uh, Who do you pick to Astral. go next? All right. What do you do, Astral? Uh, I'm going to hop out of the car and yell, How many of y'all named Nathaniel? I'll give each one of you $1,000 to fuck off right now. Ha <laughs> That's so modern funny. problems require modern, <laughs> modern solutions. <laughs> Make me an overcome as in sense of a persuasion, Astral. We'll see if okay. they, if any of them are like, fuck it. I hope all of them take the money mm. and run. Especially because I... you're kind of getting it on that hint from the last episode that these fucking aliens want money, bro. Thousand dollars <laughs> is a thousand dollars. Send me your cash app tag mm -hmm. now. <laughs> so if right. the way this also works is if you do not have something that makes sense you just roll a d4 instead All right. okay that's sorry i did i meant to unclick the thing that's my bad don't don't look at that okay All right, but i am gonna do self uh, so i'm gonna do uh, no power um but i'm gonna do self-discipline and then the yellow stat okay let's go Six. Six is pretty good. And we're also, we're all in green again, right? Because we healed for three days. Um, oh, everyone we're, we're should be healed back in completely? Green. Oh, shit. Yes, man. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So, hey, six. Unless chat wants to help you, chat, shout out, motherfuckers. Y'all want to be involved? Do it. Um, six. The action succeeds, but with a minor twist. All right? Actions always succeed, but with minor twisties. So, What's going to happen? Um, I'm going to roll a plus D10. One, one, minus one. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. For God. some reason, trigger fire is going off twice, and I don't understand why. It has, there has to be like, it has to be duplicated somewhere, dude. 
whatever. I don't care. I love it. It's chaos, but I will fix it later. For tonight, though, it's echoey as hell. Deal with it. All right. And thanks, Laura, for the plus one. That makes it a seven, which makes it, I think, a full success. Let's see here. God damn it. What the fucking, what the fucking, what the fuck? Nope. Four to seven is still a success with a minor twist. That's a four to seven. That's still a minor twist. So I'm going to roll a dice here to see how many of these fuckers are actually on the premises. Um, there is going to at least be six, but I'm going to roll a D10 to see. Um, I'm just going to see what happens. Plus one, minus, minus one. one. Oh my God. That's an eight. That means no more minor twist. Hell yeah, dude. Whoops. Plus or minus one. Let's do it. Premises. Where's my 10? Hello? There it is. Sorry. Sorry. That's a six. Okay, so there is six. All right. So there is then there's two guards at the door. There's one guard in the tower. Um, and then there's two in the garden and like two more or one more off like wandering. Right. And so what happens is one of the guards from the door comes down and he's like, yeah, I'll just take the money. And then like one of them rushes up. The one by himself also rushes up and he's like, sure. You don't want to give me a thousand dollars? And they like talk to each other a little bit. They're like, sure. This is two guards that are down to just take this money. They don't give a fuck. Actually, let me see. I rolled a D6. I got a two. Yeah. So two guards are down. They're like, well, I don't give a fuck. Let's take this money. Let's, let's go. And they walk up to you and they're like. I'm going to whip out my phone and take their cash app information. And I'm going to send them each a thousand dollars. We need a cash app, honey. No, I thought it was coin app. I don't know. Coin app, yeah, coin app. Coin app, yeah, coin app. And they're like, all right, uh, good luck. And then Thanks. they just start walking off. They don't make it all the way off, but they just start walking off. Yeah. All right. That ends your turn, I'm assuming. Who do you pass to? Weird overcome. Huh? I'm into it. <laughs> You know, let's just see who's smart enough to not want to die. That's, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I'm going to pass it to uh, the the duo, the, the, the Brothers Wild. Oh, finally. It is time. Hold on. Were you were you pointing in a certain direction for One a reason sec. as well? It's the brothers' time. That's right. Wild kid's gonna take flight and go after the guard up in the sniper's tower. He's gonna flop. And as a T12, he's gonna come in with his fleshy chicken foot and try to kick him right off the tower. Ten. Got a ah! All right, so the enemy here needs to roll his d6. He's gonna fail no matter what. So he kicks him right off the tower, and it's like the classic Wilhelm scream. You know what I mean? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Great. And then Wild Shape, right there in front, is gonna look at the guard right in front of him. Make a couple of quick assessments. Hmm. Looks like none of those are really gonna work. So I'm just gonna use my size changing abilities with my close combat skills and I'm gonna punch him right in the face with making my fist just a little bit bigger. Nice. nice. Second, this is the one that's like right next to us, yeah? Yeah, the one that's like right, cool. right at the front door. Nice. No, I got a two. That's a two damage. But hey, might work. Might work. Roll a Let's one. see. <laughs> I got a oh, six. Oh, no, he rolled he a liked. six. He did good. Yeah. Totally fine. But he's a minion. So you still dealt damage to him, which means he still goes down a die size to a D4. All right? Man. All right. Who do you pass to? I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to the photographer. Well, I'm going to go ahead and well, use my ability in the green dual wielder to hit two targets simultaneously. Nice. Who are you picking? Targets. 
Uh, I'm gonna be aiming for the one in the tower, and then already um, did. The one in the tower is already dead. Already did. Yep. Oh shit! Just wow, okay. kick, kicked him off. He must well, have been spaced out, dog. Tower. Yeah. Remember guess, the Wilhelm scream? Yeah. I guess I'm gonna be aiming at the one that just got knocked down to a D4. Nice. And I'm gonna be picking one of the other ones. Cool. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah, totally, totally, totally. All right. There's two more, two more in the garden, walking up, running up. Oh, so oh. this is a uh, mid die and min die. Okay, so six and five. Um, the four is gonna automatically fail and die as you shoot them right next to you. And then you shoot the one far away. And if he meets your die, he lives. So we'll see. Wait, I guess it'll look like this. <laughs> he met my die. He met your die, which means he lives. <laughs> when he goes down to a D4, he's like, Ugh! shakes it off. Now. What do you pass to? Give us Oh, oh shit, Edgy, come on! All wow. right, all right. I rolled it again. A wow. six! What's up? <laughs> Which means he still goes down to a D4, but he lives. Oh, haha, -ha, Edgy, what's up, dude? What's up? Um, all right, who do you pass to? I pass it to the scene. The scene. Uh, there really isn't shit much going on in the scene. What the scene really is, is them just getting closer to you guys. Basically what it is. But what we're treating this as, um, just so you know, is like the scene as a whole. You guys have until the end of the red scene to get down into the basement and do what you're going to do before the end. All right. Um, so we're doing this as like a big overhaul of this whole mission. Um, and if you don't get down there in time, something might happen. All right, something that will stop your guys' progress. You must get all the way down in there before it ends. So um, once the scene moves over, then that's, that's what's up. Um, but I will move the scene forward. And in this sense, the only thing I can kind of do in this scene is that the two minions just get closer to you guys. They get up within range of their pistols. That's kind of what happens. And uh, I'm also going to let them go on ahead and attack. Now we have a D4 and a D6 minion. And the D4 is just going to shoot his pistol right back at you there, um, photographer. Wow, that is full a strong four damage. Jesus full Christ. Four. Yeah, he was like, you ain't taking me down. I'm Nathaniel 54, the strongest <laughs> of all the Nathaniels. Um, if you guys didn't know, canon-wise, last episode, by accident, all the aliens of Black Dagger are named Nathaniel, which is also going to come into play next campaign, and we talked about that, me and Brody is a little bit. It's going to be hilarious. All right, the other one's like, Oh, my guy up in the tower. He's going to shoot wild boy. I thought you said D6. he was dead. Yeah, there's no uh, one in the tower. He, he says, my guy up in the tower. He's dead. He's like sad about it. So he oh. shoots wild boy with his D6. He only got a two, though. So at this point, wild boy's a lieutenant. He needs to roll his D12 to see if he beats the two. If he doesn't beat the two, he goes down a dice side. Oh, he meets it. Jesus, that was wow. close. Oh. He's good, Ooh. though. He stays his dice size, all right? Um, that's it. There's only two left. So it comes right back to the top of the round, and it's Plowsy's turn. Well, actually, yeah, that's who I'm going to pass it to. I'm going to pass it to Plowsy. He's like, time for General Electric to shine once again. Yeah. And the truck's moving pretty slow as he's trying to rev up and get towards the enemies that are a few feet away. And he's going to try to ram one of them. If, Astral, your turn. Will you roll a d10 for General? Absolutely. Oh, that's one way to do it. D8, which means this d6 minion has no way to succeed, so he just runs him over completely. And then in your headsets, he's like, I have committed murder for the first time. Are you proud? Good job, General. Absolutely you, not. Jesus. All right, now this I pass it to the wild boys. 
The wild boys! This is how it happens. All right. I'm gonna call Wild Boy over to come and pick up Wild Shape. And we're gonna take flight into the sky. And we're gonna kind of peruse the back entrance to see if there's any quick entrances uh, through a back door. Nice. Um, so I'll take this as movement and a little bit of just perception. You can see there's for sure a large back door just like the front one. But while you're up in the air, you see there's two more guards standing at that back door and they see you and they go, huh? And then you fly right. back over the building. Does that count as my whole action or can I still no, do No, something? no, you could, you could still take an action. All right. I'm mean, going to have a uh, wild boy drop wild shape as an aerial bombardment. Attack up to three creature targets using power quality using your mid die. So he's going to like drop Wild Shape down on top of those two guards and Wild Shape's going to turn into like a, a goat. Okay. So the back door ones? ones? Yeah, the back door All right. One. And then we have to use the minimum die. That's a three. And you get to attack both of them with the men? Yes. So cool. now they both got to beat a three. All right. Or they go down to D4 minions. Six. Mother fuck. Jesus Christ. Which means Christ. he's a minion, so even though he succeeded, he goes down. If he fails, he dies, right? Or gets knocked out. Right. And the second one, five, also God succeeds. Damn. So you kick both of them. They're like, <laughs> Both of them just point their guns right at you, the goat on the ground. They're like, <laughs> Oh, nope, that's a chicken. There's a goat. Hello? <laughs> All right, what does Wild Boy do? Was that a combo move? If it was a combo move. That was a combo a move. That technically the boost aerial bombardment. Hinder. Boost or hinder? For some reason, the dang old command thing. <laughs> Bicked. Um, Wild Shape gets to Unimorph, use his toes, but gives extra grip, plus boost. It's not roll, Nate. Just one. We went over this. It's exclamation point one d twelve. It's the it's always remembers. been. I know. It's never changed. It's been the same for like four years. I promise. <laughs> Exclamation point. 1D12. Because you could also do 2D12 or 3D12. So you got to do 1D12. <laughs> Every Sunday with this. <laughs> mm. On a five. You get a boost from Nate. Um, who did it perfectly the first time, but seems. Let's see. Here we go. A five! You get a plus two to your damage. Um, you shave the uniform. I extra grip toes. So your goat hooves grow toes out of them, and you deal well, that's an extra. terrifying. You deal an extra <laughs> two damage as you kick these minions in the crotches. Um, and so one of them with the five is actually, um, well, he meets it, so he still goes down. But you deal that extra two damage. Both of them with little toes in your hooves. My hooves. Look at my, my hooves. hooves. My hooves. My hooves. Hooves. Yeah. I um almost want to test this. If I do this, hold on one second. If I turn that off, does it still do the same ass bullshit? Hold on. Now it just does nothing. What the hell? It's literally off and it's still do What the fuck? Y'all see this? This is oh, we've crazy. Seen it. We've seen it. What the fuck? All right, that's going to take some investigating. Because I don't get it. What if I refresh? Because it's playing three times for some reason. It might be something on their side, but we'll see. Oh, no. Jackals got space and time. You have nice. no idea there, Nate. Yeah, you have no idea. All right. Well, anyways, you deal that extra damage. Now, who do you pass to, my goatly friend? Uh, I'm going to pass it to a uh, robo photographer over there with his oh. mounted pistols. Finally. Nate has, um, he has confused me. Um, 
Because it was a combo move, that means that Wild Boy did a boost on you. So you can roll Wild Boy's D12 as a boost to also see. You might just be able to knock him out completely with your toey thing. Yeah, so quickly. Sorry, Krieger. Roll me a D12. Right, so that's 11. an 11. Jesus Christ. Which means that's a plus 4. Um, which takes your 5 damage up to... to or your 3 damage nine. up to 5, up to 9. Which means you yeah. kill both of them. Or knock them Great. out. Yeah. That was a weird, a weird roundabout way of getting there, but we got there. You knocked them both out. Now the back door is clear. You pass it back to Krieger. Now it's the Krieger. Yeah. There's still one more from the garden that's standing in front of me, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to shoot him. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot him. Nothing special about it. Okay. And you're holding on to them load bonuses? Yeah. Nice. You bet your okay. ass I am. You could straight up just roll if you're that confident. You could just roll your signature weaponry die. Just the one. The D10. Oh, it's a four. He has a chance to live. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> He's a D4 minion. Here we go. Three! You just... Poof. And he dies. He hits the ground. You walk away. Yeah. And then one thing I want to do before my turn ends, so I'm just going to stand out in the courtyard and I'm going to scream in their language because I know their language now, thanks to a draw Sick. card. Sick. What do you say? Um, it's going to sound like this to Astral and Wild Boy. But nice. to them, it sounds like this. Send me more pigs to kill. <laughs> Nice. I don't think that's how they sounded last episode. Uh, they, that's the way they sound now. Shit. <laughs> um. Okay. Whoops. We. The scene is over here. All right. Um. I'm gonna go on ahead and move us forward because we're technically on the green now because we did actually do the bad guys and then back to you guys. We're well, in so green too. No. Everyone's dead. But we will let you know. Go next to decide what to do. All three of you stand there. Plowsy's in the center. There are dead black dagger bodies scattered about six of them. There are two knocked out guards on the back door where Wild Shape and Wild Boy are. The doors are still there. There is a stairs that lead up through a car parking area where a couple of futuristic cars are parked off to your left, like a garages area. Where do you go, Master? What do you say? What do you do? We're going to let you go next in this. Uh, Plowsy, can you scan the area, specifically the ground, and tell me how far out does the basement go from the house? Scanning. Down. Very far down. Not. Around the perimeter, but down. Just straight down, just only under the house? Only under the house. Okie doke. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. I'm a car. <laughs> uh, all right, fellas, here's my thought. We'll try the door, but if it's locked, uh, if you all hold on to me, we should be able to phase through the door together. And get into the house. Wild boys are out back. So that's a you and Krieger thing. We're going to infiltrate the back door. The wild boys are going to... We're going to DP the back door. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. I was either going to say that or like if you wanted to come around and join, you just hear the clop of hooves, the familiar clop of hooves on wood as he comes around the porch. But if you want to do the bag, that's cool. That's cool. So it's just you, Krieger and Astral. Sure. Krieger, you down? Yeah. All right. Uh, so I. <laughs> oh, wrong hand. I'm going to use my intangibility. Oh. And my self discipline. And, uh. No. <laughs> no. What did you roll? No. Let's see. 
Uh, you got you got a six, which means the action succeeds, but with a minor twist. Oh no, you done phased off fucking <laughs> time yeah. for his trigger finger. <laughs> <laughs> Still got more fingers. Nah, it's likely just gonna cause me motion sickness. Yeah. Um, you are temporarily hindered using your max die from the vibration through this door. So your seven, your max die, you are now temporarily hindered, Astral. You'll take a minus two on your next roll. As you phase through this door, it like has a weird feeling on you. It's a different kind of steel. It's a different kind of something you're not used to so as you phase through it 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 takes more effort and you can kind of feel it hurt you a little bit as you go through yeah and you land in the atrium of this home it's quiet your voice echoes but first wild shape hold on let me fix this what do you do so i want to kick boy? down the door with my hooves <laughs> okay <laughs> Let's do it, bud. All right. We're going to use a green ability, uh, which is my strong form. Uh, attack using shape shifting and use my max die. Nice. Shape shifting. Act close combat. Green. Oh, bam. Holy a 12. Shit. That's a netty 12 right there. Look at Holy that. Shit. Holy shit. <laughs> That's the maximum effort you can do on a roll in this system, everyone. If you're paying attention in chat, can we get some nat 20s? The brand new emote I worked so fucking hard in. If you got it, will you spam it in chat for me, please? Please, God. Natural 20. Cheers, Wild Shape. Hell yeah, dude. Cheers. Yeah, man. So, natural 20, 12 plus. Thanks, Sora. Thanks, Nate. The action succeeds beyond your expectations. Now, when you kick this door off of the hinges, because that's what's happening, it flies. <laughs> you know what? Describe what you see to me. Trash can. Also, hello. Thank you. Describe what you see. Me? Yeah. What happens as you kick this off? It exceeds beyond your expectations. Well, I imagine that like I would go and I go to kick it. And then, like, it would almost have been too easy, but that thing turns into, like, a frisbee and goes, like, flying through the house. The door, by the way, goes flying through the house and then maybe knocks into a wall that leads us to where we're really trying to look for. Okay. Like, How about suddenly... This? In boys' fashion, it's very brutal. The door spins. The metal door, as you kick it off, spins. You, photographer and astral, standing already in the atrium on the other side, see the door, it spins over your heads and you duck. Photographer, you're holding up your gun, you look to the left to follow the door, and there's a guard coming up the hallway, and he goes, and then the door just decapitates him and connects his body to the wall. No! God damn it! Good work, Wild Shape. <laughs> no, no, it's not good work. Jesus Christ. It's I wonder, I bet he was a Nathaniel too. Oh, well, he's not anymore. Oh, don't no. say two weeks two from weeks. retirement. No. Wild shape is a no. Oh, I'm not a monster. I was a clone. I. <laughs> It's okay, Nathaniel 4 said Nathaniel 2 was an asshole, so maybe that Nathaniel was an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Villainy arc. God Kicking doors. Damn it. Uh, you all four, you three, four now, stand in the atrium nearby each other. Release this opening area. There are a few couches and stuff about, but it's fairly quiet besides the guards' blood leaking down the wall and noises like... As it's falling down the walls. There's a hallway that leads up to the left. And one that leads down to the right. As you four stand there in this open, empty area. Imagine how fucked up kids are probably going to grow up to be. True. Retire Ron. Retire Irony. What do you guys do? Left up or down right? Well, uh, we're gonna go. Me and Wild Kid gonna go down right. All right. 
Photographer, Astral, what say you? Uh, I guess we're gonna have to go the same way. We're trying to clear this out. Yeah. Don't. So you go down. Party. Don't split the party. All right. Murder you is four. genetic. I don't think you know how babies work. Trash can. <laughs> <laughs> You four head down these stairs. Once you reach the bottom, there's a small little like wall, kind of like half wall that you guys run up to and lean against, hidden. You could hear voices on the other side of this wall. You peek over and you see this huge open room with large couches, huge couches, a big ass screen on the wall, like a futuristic pool table that doesn't actually have pool balls. They're just like digital versions of pool balls that whenever you hit them, it just calculates it and moves the pool ball where it goes. You know what I'm talking about? And there's like a couple of guards playing pool on the table. Pew! 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 And walking around, talking on the phone and with some other person, you recognize this man in a white shirt and blue jeans, very tall, very buff, balding beard. Astral, you see him walking around. It's your father. He's talking on a Bluetooth headset. You could hear him. He's saying stuff like, uh, well, whenever I left my other job to come here and work for Black Dagger, I, I knew I'd be the man for the job. And then other shit like, well, God damn it, if you don't make it happen, the mayor is going to kill all of us. And all four of you are lined up against this wall, just listening to all this shit go down. And also in this room, you're kind of a little bit underground. And like, you can kind of tell this area is a little bit secluded from everything else. But it's huge. So, what do you do? Freaker? Yeah! Yes. Left of them a good goat poop. Keep the one that alive. Up later. Thank you. What's that? Keep the one keep the one alive. I'm gonna swipe him off to the right. And you're free to go on the rest of them. Okay, you got it. Now by the one on the right, do you mean your dad? Yes. Right. Uh, what do you do? Uh, so I am going to literally lickety splee speed into the room. I'm going to run in and I'm going to grab him by the lapels. This will be faster than he can see. And I'm going to shove him up against the wall and go, hi, dad. Nice. Nice. Make me an overcome. Let's do it. Hello, uh, daddy. Oh, speed, self-discipline. And. That'll be my principle of speed overcome action. Four, four, eight. It's a four, which means the action succeeds. But with a minor twist. God, I was hoping it was a major twist. Someone just disconnected a USB. Um, all right. Hmm. We think, we think for one second. All right, you succeed, but not as successful as you would have planned, which is a minor twist on this thing here. You grab him up, up to the wall. You're like, hi, daddy-o. And then he just, his big ass palm grabs you by your shoulder and just pushes you back. And he steps forward and he looks down at you and he goes, Ginger? Why are you here? Could I ask you the same thing? Everybody in the family thinks you're dead. Dead? Wait, you're not Ginger. Who are you? <laughs> I'm a past a photographer. Because okay. I'm right just going to maniacally laugh at him while holding him. 
I'm gonna pop <laughs> around the corner of the doorway and just start blasting fools. All right. So there are two of them by the pool table. There's one of them like sitting down on the couch, like watching TV. These guys are a little bit larger, a little more well-equipped than previously. Um, as you pop around the corner, you see Ginger and you see her dad and you see something she didn't see, Krieger, with your military um, observance. You see on the belt loop of the father, whatever his name is. I still don't know what it is. Uh, Astro really hasn't told me yet. I was going to leave that up to it's you. Bob. You see. Bob, you see on the belt loop of Bob's pants is a key ring with large classic fucking cinema keys. You know, the big ass ones like the ring with like the fucking, there's a bunch of keys. And then Wild Shape, you poke your head around the other corner. You and Wild Boy like Scooby-Doo style. And you can see on the other side of the room, on the other side of the pool table, there seems to be a cellar door. It's got a huge ass lock on it. Metal cellar door. Cool. Now, wow. um, before I let you fire, I'm just building the scene a little bit to kind of get your brains thinking because we're going to take a quick break before we come back. And one other thing is going to happen before I allow you to fire. All right. So we're going to take our quick break. Is there anything okay. you want to ask or say to think on before we do that? As long as they're all black da dagger employees, I don't care. I'm shooting. Okay. <sighs> I'm shooting. All right, so we're going to take a quick break, everybody. Um, we're also going to be in yellow now. Let me move that forward. It's over, da, 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 da. Now. It's over now. now. That's right. We're going to take a quick break, everybody. We've already done a thumbnail pose, a good one for today already. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to take our quick old break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Oh, we're gone. All right. Thank you. We'll be right back. What is that? I don't know. Hello, everybody. Welcome one. Welcome all. Welcome back to C Team Sentinel Comics. Welcome back here to the Grouch Couch. This is our C Team episode eight. We're going into the last act right now. I'm Turkey, and I'm here with Connor, Fishy, and Proteus. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Yes. As we just left off, all of you guys were down in one of the lower levels of the mayor's home. There were Black Dagger guards. I want somebody to green screen, buddy. There are Black Dagger guards playing pool and hanging out. And Astro Velocity's dad. Now, just as we left off, Krieger was jumping out from around the corner to shoot a bunch of these guys. Now, as he does, there's one thing that happens. Astral, as you stand there holding your dad and he pushes you forward by your shoulder, his huge masculine body, he begins to transform into the form you had seen him before in. Huge. <laughs> His shirt rips open and falls off of him. His muscles get huge. Everything gets huge, except his head kind of stays the same size, like comically a little tiny little head from Bob. But everything gets huge as hell. And he <sighs> turns into like a Hulk, one would say. But he's not a Hulk. He's not green because, you know, copyright. So we're going to pick a different color for our Hulk dad. Um, Black purple we could do purple astral you cool with your dad being purple hulk sure yeah he's, but his pants are his pants are green oh now he's thanos my he's, bad i'm sorry I he's saw. poke he's but he's poke he's poke. yeah <laughs> he gets huge and he sees krieger coming around the corner she's like Aah! like that he just yells and you just get like spittle on your face krieger but it's your go what do you do He's either poke or he's purple. Purple. <laughs> purple uh, sounds like a venereal disease. I am the great purple. <laughs> the purple nurple. So we're in we're in yellow status now, right? Yes, sir. Oh fuck yeah, we are. Um, I'm gonna attack with flowing fight. Attack using speed. Use your mid die to attack one extra target for each bonus you have. Apply a different bonus to each attack. Nice. You saw them two bonuses from loading in the car forever ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Uh, one, seven, ten. So seven. Uh, I'll direct <clears throat> both of these at the uh, the guys playing pool. Okay. One's going to be for 10, and the other one's going to be for 9. Nice. 
10 and 9. Both of these guys, even though they're more powerful lieutenants, they are still 10 D10 lieutenants. So the first one is going to immediately fail with a four. He just poof, and his pool stick in his hand just ah, it goes flying and like punctures into the window and it's like bing, 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 and you shoot the other one. Poosh. He got a two sitting on the couch. He just poosh, goes flat on the ground. You kill them both. Good. Good. Green blood splatters. Of course. Now, who do you pass to? I'm going to pass it to wild boys. Now, oh, have we, shit. We actually, we haven't actually made it into the same room yet, right? No, we all went down together. You're like right just around a wall. Just right around the wall. Yeah. All right. Great. I think we're going to go for a boost move, which wild boy is going to go ahead and grab astral and like flying. He's going to start spinning astral around in a circle, getting her all revved up to be able to be slung on her turn. So it's going to be a D12 boost on astral. Nice. nice. That's a three. A three. It sucks. It's only a plus one, but it helps. I would like to use my couch coin for max bonus output. Oh, shit. Hey, everybody. If you didn't know, we're working on coming up with some new systems, some new commands, some new things we want to start using for our next campaign. And I told the players here today, one of those many things we want to start using is called something called couch coins. You know, like coins you find in your couch because you lose your loose change. Um, and each player starts with a couch coin. For now, we're just doing one per episode, but there may be a command later in the future where you guys can actually give them couch coins, uh, much like inspiration points, but they do a lot more because narratively they can control the situation, um, get automatic natural 20s, etc. And Wild Shape is choosing to use his couch coin to give max boost on this here boost from Wild Boy, which means at a 12, that would be a plus four. All right. Stay tuned for more details on that, but that means Wild Shape has used his couch coin for the night, everybody! The first one ever! And then while Astral is turning into her own arc reactor, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wild Shape's gonna come out. Is there any more uh, henchmen, goons, or goblins down in here other than Bob? There's one. One? I'm gonna run over and use Surprise Shift! Attack with shape shifting, use your max die, and then change into any available four. Shape shifts in close combat, and we're in the yellow status. Yeah! That's a 10! What's up, baby? Aw, uh, damn. All right, he makes his D10 save as you surprise shift. What are you surprise shifting into? Oh, surprise shift. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah. oh nope, that's just me. I it's forgot. It's just Hold me. Oh, Hello. Ah. Going back. Uh, oh I didn't just set these scenes up right. Oh, nope, I lost me. Now it's a goat and a chicken. I'm very confused. This is the, these are why we have problems, all right? Dad? The, the genetic code is all messed up. Son, I know. Just hold on. Give me a second. It's fine. It's fine. I just need to find. Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, That's shit. Not the chicken. For God damn it. Get, get, uh, uh, ow. And all, everything hurts. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, you're ten damage. Something that was so you jump successful. Up. My goodness. Are you going for a kill or a knockout? Uh, knockout. So it's like right. it runs up, uh, and then it like a goat kicks him into like the pool table, where it yeah. knocks all the, the the pool balls into like different pull, like <laughs> holes. So <laughs> like I actually <laughs> technically win in the game of pool because all of the balls go into each hole like, and it's stuff. Like, Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling like a Wild bunch of coins come out wins. of it. Ding yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. <laughs> and then he's just he's just knocked out on the pool table. Nice. Nice. And, and then I'ma pass it to Astral Arc Reactor. G go get him! And then the Wild Boy can launch you wherever you want to go. Like you could just like direct him. Ah. Uh. I guess let me go on top of my dad's head. Like, I just want to, like, essentially, like, bear hug him around and just start vibrating, I guess. <laughs> All right. 
That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Shut up, Krieger! <laughs> I just imagine like I'm, I just imagine essentially... Astro jumps. Hey, yeah, and then just you hear like a phone buzzing. Well, I'm thinking like. <laughs> of essentially vibrating to the point of intangibility, so if he tries hitting anything, he'll just go straight through. Okay, not you. Tr- are you trying to hinder him? Is that what you're trying to do? Yes. Yes. Okay, you're making a hinder action. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Hell yeah! All right, we'll make your overcome. Let's see how hard you hinder him. All right, so that will be an intangibility and a self discipline and yellow status. An eight plus four. Oh, yeah, you have that plus four. That's a 12, which makes that a minus four. God damn. Minus four on him. He's like, I am purple. Purple, 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 purple. No, ginger. And as you're as you're on top of him, you could also kind of tell he's like his voice seems a little bit different. His mannerisms are different. There's like a classic kind of Hulk thing going on here, and maybe that's why he didn't even remember you before. You're like, why are you acting this way? And he's like, ah, his big old buffness. But now, well, I guess there's no one else to pass it to but him, right? Mm-hmm. As you're on top of him, he's going to stomp across the room to the pool table. <laughs> And he's going to attack one target using his um, herple focus. He's going to attack <laughs> one target using his close combat. He's going to use his min plus his max dice. And then he's going to defend against all targets against him um, by all other targets until the end of... Wait, what? Defend against all targets against you by all other targets until the start of your next turn with your min die. Mid die, mid die. So Max plus mid. He's going to attack you as a chicken. Wild Chip is going to smash. But purple smash Pfft, right down on the pool table. He's going to use his <laughs> close combat. That's a ten. But he's he's going to use his strength now. at a ten. Minus he is four. also so he has his minus four. You've activated my reaction card. Ha 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 ha. When an opponent okay. would attack you in close combat while well, in this form, you make an attack or hinder on them first by rolling your single shape shifting die. Nice. And then this I'm going to do a hinder on him. What the hinder of nine? Nine. Nine is a minus three. So that's minus seven to his, um, what was it? 15. Um, so he only does eight instead of 15 because of the four. And the three. So you, what does your hinder look like? Is you, you just feathers or what? What happens? Uh, when he goes to punch, I just turn into like a puff of feathers and it's like. <sighs> so uh, uh, hindering is kind of just like. A and he's smoky, also like, you know, like yeah. his fists are kind of going through the table because he's vibrating and he's like. Yeah. <laughs> so he only deals eight damage to you. And then he gets to defend using his min die or his mid die. Sorry, which was roll 20. Come back to me, baby. Um, <laughs> mid die, which was nine. He gets to defend with nine. So that's that. Now the scene's going to move forward one. And then I'm going to pass it back to Krieger. Yellow two. What do you do, son? Is there any more black dagger minions in the room? No, sir. All right, then I'm going to use ricochet against herple. This is just me using my max die. If I roll doubles, use max plus min instead. Right. Hell yeah. I'm still in. Ooh, those are doubles. That's max plus min, but it's only six. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks ass. Uh, let's chat once to give a dice. That sucks ass. Um, but you deal six damage, which means you deal zero damage. 
I think he's now, does that wow. mean he only has a defend of three left? I think so, yeah. It... That's the way okay. I'm going to interpret it, yeah. Give a dice. Yeah. Oh, you got oh, reroll from Tugboat. God, What's up, Tugboat? Tugboat. Yeah. Giving her a tug. <laughs> All right, nine. That's better than six, which yeah. means you completely get rid of his defenses. Poof, he's like, <laughs> herbal, um, herbal, no, no, herbal. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on to uh, Astral. Right. Astral. So You're still on, on his back, right? On his back, yeah. All right. Um, I mean, I know he's he's Hulk smashing, but uh, if you would just fucking calm down, we could have a rational conversation about this. No, calm. Herbal, no! You know I could literally vibrate my my hand into your skull. No, skull. Herbal, no! All right, listen. I could just knock you out. We could have a grand old time. Or... I can continue vibrating us till we go through the floor. And let's see how far this place goes down. <laughs> we'll take you for a ride. You seem pretty durable. I imagine you say that and then he like swings his back around and he's like swinging you around the room trying to get you off. And you're like, come on, just let me knock you out. And he's like, no, Herbal, <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> That's what I imagine is <laughs> happening. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Yeah. So what do you do? All right. Um. Let's see. How much health does he have left? Oh. Okay. Fair enough. You don't know that. Um. That's fair. He had weird defenses. That's why I was asking. Yeah. Uh, oh, his defense is is the he the defend role he got to use is gone. Krieger got rid okay. of that. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, um, what I think I'm going to do is I am once again going to vibrate, but instead of using my intangibility, I'm going to use my momentum of him swinging me around. I'm going to use momentum and uh, close combat. And essentially, I am still going to vibrate him down, but I'm essentially just going to crush him into the floor I'm essentially going to use him like a drill bit and drill him into the floor so he's about like up to here in his chest okay so do you want to do a hinder or do you want to do damage I mean that's going to damage him but I'm also sticking him in the ground so I mean I do you have an ability that hinders and also damages let's see we're in yellow mm -hmm. have a lot that's multiple targets. <clears throat> um, no. No. Oh. Wait. No, no. Attack using power. Hinder that target for your Mindai. Or guinea hack. Sweet. Attack using power. Yeah. And then hinder using Mindai. Nice. Uh, so I'll use my momentum. And close combat, yellow status. Whip! Oh, fuck. <laughs> you deal three damage, and then you hinder him for one. What'd you do? So. <clears throat> what is this? A gift from the god? Oh, it's <gasps> Debbie Snacks for $20! Debbie Snacks, what the wow, fuck? Whoa. Thanks, Debbie Snacks. Wow. Thanks, Debbie. Gosh, thank you for helping the show. What the fuck, Debbie? Gosh Dang. darn it. Thank you, Debbie. It's really going to help. We're so fucking excited about our next campaign. I know this one isn't over yet, but thank you, Debbie. It's going to directly help support that stuff. So thank you so much. You rock, dude. Thank you. Cheers, Debbie. And happy marriage. <laughs> now, if you ever get remarried or something happens and I'm not invited, I'm going to be mad. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, okay, so here's what happens. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Give me all smiles now. So he has purple skin. That is a active ability that reduces all damage dealt to him by two. So you only actually deal one damage to him. Um, additionally, uh, he will still be hindered by the one. All right, so we only got his ankles damage. into the floor, but that's fine. Yeah. So far, he has taken one damage. Yes. Okay, Hi, so uh, I, now what? I'll pass to Wild Boys. Yeah! Wild Boys hey, at it again! It's the Wild hey. Boys turn! Hey! Way! Oh, shit! All right, Wild Kid's gonna, like, grab me in his wing as, like, he's holding me and he's, like, about to, like, throw me like a baseball. And he's gonna reel back and then throw me at the big purple as a boost. So just a D12 boost. I'm using him as a booster this episode. All right. I feel like that's four. That's a plus two. At. So plus two, and then but if I'm flying through the air as a chicken. I'ma hit him really hard with surprise shift. Attack using your shape shifting dice. Use your max dice, then change into any available four. Nice. And then. Wham! So it's gonna do a seven plus a two, so he takes nine damage, and then whatever things on his side activate his side. Barney's skin. Yeah, <laughs> he has purple skin that reduces all damage by two, meaning he only takes fucking seven. Yeah. Seven. Seven. And then I surprise shift into a goat. Yeah. Oops. Hold on. There we go. New surprise shift. Activate Barney skin. That's right. It's the toughest skin of all in the whole universe. You didn't know it until you seen it. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else? Like. That, that means it's Herpel's turn. It's Herpel's turn. Is there nothing in this, like, environment that is active or are we just like in a hangout lounge room so you look around then wild shape you're the first one to ask to do so you look around and you see on the wall there's some kind of alarm system and uh it's connected up through like tubes to go all around through the whole complex and it looks like the alarm system has not yet to be activated. As if you killed all the Black Dagger mercenaries before they were able to activate the alarm, but there may be more arriving soon that might activate the alarm to hinder your progress. Interesting. I'm going to pass yeah. it over to the Herpel then. All right. Herbal, no! Herbal! He's kind of like stuck a little bit in the ground. He's got that minus one and he's got his scratches all over his body and shit. And he's like, ah! he has an ability called seeing red. At the start of his turn, he gets to gain a bonus equal to the number of opponents that attacked him on his last turn, giving him a plus three. Meaning he has a plus two technically because of the minus one and total. He's got a plus, <gasps> excuse me, a plus two. There it is. <laughs> then... He's going to sweep his huge arms around in like a windmill motion. And he's going to attack all three of you using his strength. And then hinder each of you with his mendai as he spins. His strength's at a 10. Um, he will also be using his close combat. And we are in yellow zone. What do we got? So fucking his minimum die. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> is a one we all take one no you're all hindered by one so you all have a minus one as he spins around and each one of you takes three damage oh plus his plus two you take five you're all hindered by still three you take five damage then the scene moves forward out the window wild shape you can see a car arrive 
and you can see four black dagger guards get out and begin walking towards the home as you're looking out the window you <gasps> you get your eyeballs going and you can kind of see that they see the dead bodies out front and they're like what what's going on and they kind of start to hustle up the scene moves forward one god damn it here we go then i pushed a wild shape first all right wild boy head over to that control panel and see if you can lock down this whole building so he's gonna fly over there and he's gonna look at the panel what does the panel read all kinds of alien shit but shit he can make an overcome on this to see if he can activate to shut down the whole building but if he fails the minor or major um is gonna be he activates the alarm instead so it's up to you if he wants to make that action he's gonna use his principles of great power now he was almost either developed or created and has spent a lot of time with these aliens whether he remembers it or not Overcome a situation using one of your highest rated powers and use your maximum dice. Um, so I am going to use uh, creativity as my quality and then uh, awareness because it makes sense. And then the yellow status. And then it's going to be a five. All right. A five is not great. A five is a fail with a minor twist. Unless chat wants to help you on this really important a section fail or with the minor twist. It's it's a success with a minor twist. Or chat can hinder you to make it a major twist by giving you four um or sorry, two minus ones. Come on, chat, hook it up with the minus ones. Let's go. Plus or minus one. Ah. Fuck Sora, See? come on, minus, not pluses. Sora. Come on, it's Sora, Sora's. help me out over here. Not him. That's help me. Babe. Come on. Give me the major <laughs> twist, not the minor twist. Do you want Wild Kid to live? Come on! Wait, Come on. yes, we do. What? Wait, what the hell? <laughs> we want Wild Kid to live? Well, you're at a six, yeah. which still means you get the minor twist. Still at a six. You have to get to an eight Damn, to get four. Minus one. No. Thank you, Hold Trash. You I appreciate you. Trash See, you can, fucking kicking I don't butt. appreciate yeah, you, asshole. We're back you're at five. You're absolute trash. Come on. I don't mean that as a Whoa. name. So, yeah, what the yeah, hell? hell? I thought Let's you go. were my dad. This is how you treat one your more. children. Woo. God damn it. You guys are the worst. Let me start looking at major twists just to prepare myself because the court of chaos is oh, on my side. Oh, Sora! Yeah, hey. Thank you, Sora. Oh, hey, yeah, remember, yeah. Sora's on Sidequesters, Fishy. You can come fuck up Sora on Sidequesters this Wednesday oh, if you're feeling oh, it. And Trash Can. Shit! I'm gonna both of them are Sidequesters crew. Holy y'all. shit, you are out ain't here, gonna dude. have a single good roll that night. <laughs> oh my goodness. I will ruin it. What do you mean, wild boy? You're right. Sora, he isn't your son. He's your Ooh. He's your son. Well, he's <laughs> my brother. Kinda. You know what? I might be the clone. He might be your real boy. <laughs> I'm just reading through this. This is the first time I've read through these because we haven't had a major twist really before, so this is really cool. And even not. At yeah. least he was your grandson for a little while. Isn't that what really Ooh. matters? Oh shit. Okay, so here's what happens. As a major twist, Wild Boy flies over with his flappy wings and gets to the <laughs> control planner. He starts pushing in buttons and punching it, and he's like, I've been around this language before. I know this. I think I know this. I think I know. And his whole body gets electrocuted, and he gets shot up out of the ceiling window. My boy. And then no. the metal grates come down around the building. You've put the building on lockdown. The whole building's on lockdown. The major twist was that this hero is completely separated from the group. Wild boy's gone. Wild boy, no! Forever. Damn it! He'll never find him. Again. That was my. That was my son, brother. God damn it! But my, my brother's son. Fuck! But you have succeeded. Um, yeah. Alright. Well then, 
I think I'm just gonna use my strong form ability and attack with shape-shifting powers and use my maximum does it, dice. Does it feel right? <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> I'm so already. It doesn't feel right because no. Wild Boy's not here. Oh, uh, I rolled a two. Fuck! Or, well, it's a five. Minus there you one. Go. That's your so max die. Four. Minus two, so it's a two. You deal two damage because he has an inherent ability that just he doesn't get the damage dealt to him. He takes the two damage. Boom. That ends your go. What do, son? I send over to Astral. Put your dad down already. Damn. Uh, am I still on his back? Yes. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna get one of the oranges out of my costume. Nice. And while he's yelling, I'm just gonna shove it into his gullet. Nice. Uh, Man. Elbow first deep. I, first, I'm gonna need you to make me an overcome. He's got a tiny little okay. head and a big ass body. You gotta get it in there. Well, it's elbow, a small orange. True. It's, it's small. Uh, so I'm going to use strength and self-discipline. All right. Now, this is and a five. And minus one. Oh, yeah, because of the minus one. That makes it a four. It still means it's the same. It succeeds with the minor twist. Here's the deal. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to check to see if this Bob um, Purple is a clone. And I'm also trying to choke him out at the same time. Okay, so as damage, you can deal the five, um, or we can do the overcome. They're two different things. Um, um, are you dealing the damage? Are you doing the... Well, I guess we'll take the damage. How about that? But then... I see what you're trying to do, right? You're trying to see if he's a clone or not. Now, I don't know if Purple is a clone. In my head, Cannon, I have ideas and things. And in my head, once again, this is something that works both ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to roll a percentile die. 50 and under, clone things will happen. 50 and above, they will not. Chat can go on ahead and use pluses and minuses and rerolls as much as you guys want to to help move in this story. Um, but I'm going to roll a percentile. So we want him to be a clone. Yes, I think so. Yeah, first one. Two. Oh goodness. Twenty-seven, which means yes, he is a clone. Hooray! I think. Hooray for short fights. The dice tell all. Mm. In this moment, you could also use your couch coin to do something as well. Astral. Remember that for the future, right? You'd be like, mm -hmm. yep, he is, he is, ding, you know what I mean? And have to fucking improv on that shit. All right, here's what happens. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Pause. Oh, You shove the orange down into his mouth and he's like and he turns from purple down back into Bob slowly and you're on top of him and you roll off you look down at your dad Bob your dad Bob from the other dimension dad Bob what's up with this season and dads I don't know but you look down at dad Bob and he's looking at you and he's like ginger but you're not ginger and you can see the chest part of his body is starting to deteriorate from where the vitamin C is kind of going down into his body and, and touching, it's turning into goop through his, the, where the, there's no shirt there anymore. So you can just see the skin just kind of like disappearing. And he looks at you and he's like, yeah, you're not Ginger. Where are you from? Somewhere where I lost you. Well. 
so you know I'm not a bad guy. I was recruited. And his skin it just dissipates a little bit more. I was recruited <clears throat> by Black Dagger for my government job. Black Dagger, in exchange for my duties, cleared my wife, your mother of cancer, in exchange for my service. They saved her life. They were and holding they... her hostage. Really? That's it was not part of the deal. I. They saved her from cancer and they shot me up with some weird blood goo from some guy. I think it was actually him. And it gave me powers. Right. I believe the work they're doing is good, and I think they're gonna save the world. Ginger, not ginger. They're gonna save the world. They saved your mom, not mom. And my wife, not wife. They they had my brother and your and our my mom attached to tubes making clones out of them I, they were they, they made control the universe the clones not so it. there was new clo- they would be preserved forever they would live they get but a they are controlled your little brother gets a skin owie on his knee a bum knee he doesn't really because he's actually on a table it's okay but he can also be put out whenever they want ah a good point you aren't cut from the same cloth as your sister. You seem to be smarter. Uh, you can see his arms are completely gone at this point, and his legs are starting to go, and his skin is kind of coming off his chin. He's like, quickly, before I'm gone, do you have any questions? I may be able to help. How, how do we, where? Where do we find the headquarters of Black Dagger? Where is all of this happening? The mayor today, today, she's giving a speech of the grand reopening of the Hall of Heroes. It's no longer a Hall of Heroes. It's their main, main, it's their main place. And he dies on the ground. He excels his last breath. Jesus Christ. That's like the fourth person that's died this episode. Hell yeah, God bro. God damn it. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. I'm going to grab the keys off the corpse. But. Let's let's find the door down. Let's go. All right. You grab the keys. You head over to the cellar, and you unlock the door. And Jesus, calm down. You can see down below. Very intense. Down below the stairs, you start walking down. Eventually, you get to this large room after the door of the cellar, and it looks. Similar to a room you've been in before. There are large tanks with purplish goo. The only difference this time is that there are... Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tables. Metal tables. Four on each side, I guess. With people on them. They're half naked and... You can see their like superhero uniforms are like ripped up and like they have punctures in their skin and their arms where they've been taking out their blood and inserting other things. There are tubes connected to all of them and batteries. All of them have oxygen masks on their face and all eight of them lay on the table in silence as you reach the bottom. Well, I'm gonna get to disconnecting uh, all the tubes. Like this. Right. <laughs> okay. Wake up, okay. Sheeple. Nice. Uh, anything else you two want to do while he's disconnecting these these tubes? Uh, 
uh, is there any uh, computer inside here? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there is. There's like one could big I, main computer. Could I go over to that computer and I kind of boot it up and like see who exactly here is on these tables? I mean, there's like superheroes that have been like gone for decades that are laying oh, yeah. right here. Yep. <clears throat> you and Astral together sit down next to the computer, boot it up, start going through the files. You see there are logs of tests that are done on all eight of these subjects. You also see that they were trying to do tests to be able to upgrade their clones um, to make them more malleable. Connor, I swear to God, bro. To make them more malleable. To make them... You see a couple words in there that are in a different language um, that don't really make sense to you, but it's something to do with them taking energy from the clones. Something like that. But then you get to the bottom where all the logs are, and you can see the names of all eight subjects. Number one, Ronculus. Number two, Neptris, a.k.a. Brocidodon. Number three, Barry or Talons. Number three, Reggie. Number four, sorry, Reggie or Mr. Stealth. Number five, Stain or Aura. Number six, it just says Rachel. Number seven, William, a.k.a. The Wizard. And number eight, Brittany Bezos, a.k.a. The Mystic. Who the fuck are these bozos? I have no idea. I mean, well, <laughs> there's a few of these superheroes that have been here around for a while now. Although I'm not sure what's going on with Rachel. Maybe she should just... Uh, uh, that's that's a lot to unpack there. Is this, but yeah, is it? Well, I mean, kind of. Yeah. Uh, Krieger, can you please say? I'm pretty sure it's Rasheel. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, yeah. Yeah. guys, I'm pretty sure the name tag says Rasheel on it. No, it clearly says Rachel? <laughs> question mark. Okay, oh. what? But who is Rachel Rasheel? Well, uh, that's the Skull Mask superhero. They go around and they show people hell, pretty much. Right. You ever heard of their special power, Hellish Rebuke? Well, that sounds I didn't fun. Have any powers written for Rasheel, so Connor is writing them for us. Thank you, Connor. <laughs> that was like my one power that mm -hmm. I loved from that character, so. As you guys look over this computer screen and start debating on their names, they all of them slowly start waking up. You can see Ronculus in his golden uniform. He stands up and rips the last of the tubes out of his arms that are just, they're all, I, you shot them all. So they're not disconnected out of their arms, but they are connected at the source, you know, disconnected the source. So he's kind of like rips them yeah. out and he stands up and he's like. Does the blow, blood still flow out of them? So are they just bleeding everywhere? Is that how tubes uh, work? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All and bleeding all, all over the ground. Where, where the hell, where am I? What's going on? Oh yeah. Then next, Brosidedon stands up. And I cannot do a Brosidedon voice, but he pulls the tubes out and he's like, Oh, no. Have no fear. Brosidedon is here. Same voice. Have no fear. Mm -hmm. Brosidedon is here. And then, hey, one by one, dinosaur. they all begin to stand up. You can see Brocytodon's Aquaman outfit. You can see Talons in his wings as he stands up. They all have holes in all of his wings from fatigue. You can see Mr. Stealth stand up and confused, disappear for a second, and then reappear in a different part of the room. You can see Rasheel look at himself and go, God fucking hell, holy shit. And of course, last but not least, Willie, William, the wizard, goes... I think these fucking guys saved our asses or something. All eight of them approach you in a line and look. All of them fatigue their outfits, fucked up. They're tired, slumped, over. What's going on? 
Well, now it seems like we need to get y'all out of here. Oh yeah, no fucking shit. Who the fuck are you? Uh, We're the C team, baby. We're the C team, mother. Yeah. We're mm. the C team. The C Wait, team. Once it didn't get taken down by mosquito bots. And uh, the wizard taps Mr. Stealth on the shoulder, and he's like, "They're the fucking C team. So if me and you in old Talons are the A team, right? And then we've got." Fucking Ronculus and Bro Cytodon is the B team. These are the fucking assholes that are here to save us, huh? And he's like, Oh, yeah, I fucking guess so, huh? Ugh. I mean, no shame to you. You've done a good fucking job, but you know, uh, credit give or credit do. So, how the fuck well, we get out of here? Maybe we should brief you once we get inside the car on exactly the state of the world right now. Now, we can't just have all eight of you leaving this building and going off and doing whatever you want. We really need your help to be able to stop these people and to give everybody back their lives. So then, uh, Brittany Bezos, the mystic, steps forward. She's a woman with pinkish skin. She steps forward and she goes, Ugh, fine. Um, so do you have, like, a hideout on like you know like a hill like a mansion like a massive nice place where i can go and fix my hair and stuff um because like we can meet you there you know something really nice i really wanted to get in like a jacuzzi tub do you have one of those you're heroes right i have a i have an ice bath my home was destroyed by the assholes who put you on those tables my house went into foreclosure. Ugh. The poor. Excellent! Thanks, Charity. Well, I, uh, may or may not have a home the shape of a face on top of a hill. If you want to come there, we can do that, of course. And Bro Cider Don, he's like, Let's go under the sea together. And Talons is like, well, we can go up in the trees. I have a nest up there. Reggie's like, oh, well, seems to me that you should just fucking take us wherever. Let's fucking go. We got to save the world, right? Let's fucking do it. Jesus. Well, I'm up for Ronculus's house. Seems like it's the most tactically advantageous, you know, on top of a hill. Wait, didn't we just, like, assault a mansion on top of a hill? Got in no problem. Is that where we are? Yeah, I can we're take in us the mayor's house, baby. Mayor's down house. into hell if we want to. Well, we'll now hold there. on there, Rachel. We don't need to go it's play with the devil. And he like whips out chains from inside of his arms and like whips them to the ground and like lava comes up and he's like, it's Rasheel. Oh, now you done ruined the floor. See, now you're just an asshole. I don't <sighs> like this guy. Mm -hmm. And then, um, of course, I cannot for the life of me do a Scottish accent, but Aura Stain steps forward and goes, if you fucking need healing, I can do it. I can heal you. At a cost. You can pay me, of course. It's never free. It's never fucking free. All right, st Stain, was it? Come Stain? Whips out his book and he holds up his hand and like this white, yellowish aura just comes out of it. And uh, just heals everyone in the room. And he's like, all right, fuckheads. Now y'all all owe me some gold. Gold? Yeah, that's fine. Do yeah. you take coin up? Thanks, I do. Superhero. But I don't believe in banks. I like to take gold and keep it in my house. Because gold never goes down in price. Well, you can figure out how to make the coin app stuff into real gold. That's just fine. But I'll pay you when we get out of here, kid. We uh, gotta fight some black dagger on our way out. Okay, let's go. And Mystic. Brittany Bezos just waves her hand and a purple circle opens in the wall 
next to you guys, and you can just see Plowsy on the outside. And she just steps through it and begins walking towards Plowsy. Oh, hold on there now. Right, I'm going to run out there. Now, when I get out there, can I, like, look around and see if, like, Wild Boy is, like, is he in the car already? Yeah. Will you please just roll me a D12? I want to see how well he did on his own. <laughs> just sitting in the car. What's up, Whoa! baby? Wow! Oh, right. Let's go! You get out it's there and he's, he's standing there cross-legged on the couch or on the car, just on the top of General Electric. And you look over and you can see like just a bunch of guards that got out of that car, all of them knocked out and tied up together on the ground. And he's just sitting there and he, he looks right at you and he's like, hey, bro, what's up? Can we just for a second imagine the opposite of what could have happened? Like he's sitting in the car and we just open the door and he doesn't have a head. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. That's uh, our fucking boy, though. Mystic's like, ugh, someone's sitting on this nasty car. It's disgusting. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. If there's four of us plus the eight we just saved. Are we really about to like cram 12 oh people God. inside of General Lee no. Electric? I just wanted to see what your ugly ass poor people car looked like. Just tell me where it is. Uh, it is a survivalist then... car. Survival, whatever. Surviving isn't living, okay? So just tell me where it is and then I'll just open a portal and we can just all be there. It's not hard. It takes like five seconds. Well, wrong, wrong, Kulis. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna intox the city maps? I heard of the address. I, I'm pretty good at maps here. And he opens up his phone and opens up um, Lugal Maps, and he's like, "Where are we going? Put it in there." I'm pretty good at technology. I learned how to Lugal Maps Wait. last week. Wait, Rock. Rockulus, this is your house. We're going, we're going to your oh, house, right? Sorry, we're going to my house, right? Okay. Uh, I have it saved. And he pushes the button, and you can see up the top of this hill. There's just like this, like little pin in the map. He's like, "There we go." Sorry, I forgot where we were going. All right, that sounds good. Anybody uh, else feel like Rockulus smokes a little too much to be a hero? <laughs> Mystic's Man. like, she opens the portal. <laughs> and you can see this large golden house on top of this hill and a tiny little winding road that goes up to it and she's like oh, see you there I guess because you gotta bring your shitty car uh, and she steps through and you know the wizard's like alright fuck asses you better have a fucking plan by the time you get there I'm the fucking king of this bitch and if you fuck it up that's on you and he steps through and then Mr. Stealth Reggie just disappears through the portal Etc. Etc. Leaving you guys alone with your car on the lawn of the mayor. The mayor's home. Okay. Uh, um, we should leave? Yeah, we should probably go. All right. All right Into um, the car! First, first things what? first, uh, Krieger, you want to get in touch with Colonel Sanders? I'm going to text my sister. Alrighty. Uh, and I'm just gonna shoot at uh, Ginger a message being like, so how'd you get your powers, boo? You're gonna shoot Ginger? No, I'm shooting her a message saying, how'd uh, you really get your powers, boo? And uh, she responds. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. And it says, uh, well, one night, uh, Dad came into my room in the middle of the night, so that was weird. Real. And that's where the message in. Hmm. Don't like that. And then, like a week later or so, all of a sudden, I was really fast. Uh, I'm gonna reply back. Yeah, cool. You know he's working for Black Dagger, and 
you've been given clone powers? Shocked face toilet, shocked face toilet. Fuck. That's exactly how I felt too. Uh, <laughs> also, P.S. Wild Boy was also a genetic experiment by Black Dagger. You're really surrounding yourself with some fucking winners. LMAO. Dead. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, you guys get back in the car, um, and now you guys can head straight to Ronculus's place. Um, or you can head back home, or you may do whatever you want to do, but now is the time to let me know. This is where we're going to end the episode, so tell me. Where do you go? What do you do? Do you have any final thoughts in care? Fellas, what do we think? I think I'm gonna kill every last fucking thing that's associated with Black Dagger. It's a good thing oh, you think I'm still dad. It also includes your girlfriend. Really? Well, possibly. Maybe. She hasn't betrayed us yet. But I'm not above killing loved ones. Not at this point. You fucked with my washing machine. He's alright. Look he at him. Now. But now I'm, I'm fine. fine. Now, now hold on, let's be reasonable here. The washing machine's just fine. It's now a car. We saved the heroes. We made it out alive. Not really that hurt. I say we get some KFC and then we uh call it a night. Yeah, I'm but hungry. do you want to go with the rest of the heroes or do you want to go home to the storage unit for tonight and then meet them when we have a plan tomorrow? Fuck the oh storage god, unit. we should definitely go back to the storage unit. You no. think you're gonna get any sleep around that house? Oh hell no. We're well, the storage not going unit's back also... to the storage unit. It's trashed and it's compromised. Well, are they really gonna look at a place that they've already looked at? Yes, Did absolutely. You, not... you were there for three days and you didn't pick it up at all. Yeah, we were also there for three days, so. Fine, whatever. How, to how compromised, Krieger? It can't be that bad. At least enough to still be able to do laundry at. Fine. Oh. Isn't that the real goal here? Is just get some laundry done? Hmm. Are we talking about laundry? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty good at that. I bet you are. Well, I was. Well, yeah, way to bring up a sore subject. It's only sore because you don't feel good about it. I feel right, terrible. So, I'm going to kill everybody responsible. Do you also call the police chief? Just let him know what's going on. Yeah, I did. All right, cool. Um, and that's kind of where we're going to leave it for tonight, y'all. Um, you've done some things. Oh, additionally, um, breaking the third wall, photographer is going to be out next week. What do you want to say you might be doing now that you know the scheme of things? I think I'm going to be working on uh, Actually, I, I kind of want to I want to stew I want to stew in hatred and um, I think I'm going to just like hang out at this mansion and just be really like depressed and angry that they fucked up my friend who was literally like the only thing that brought me out of my wartime PTSD was this washer machine. This washer yeah. machine AI, pretty much. And now, even though friend. he's fixed, it's not the same, right? It's not. It's not the same. Yeah. And the fact that they hurt my friend is is really fucking with me because I couldn't protect him. So, like, you can't stay in the mansion because the mayor still lives here. But we can say. Anywhere in the city you can go. Is there a favorite restaurant you might have? Do you want to take a walk in the park? Is there like a lake you go fishing at? You know what I mean? You can go anywhere in the city. I'm just going to start hanging out on rooftops, I guess. 
Just like super edge lord fucking brooding down at the city. That's fucking. counterproductive. What are you even <laughs> doing? Get down from there. What are you doing? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Room what, stop for condescension. What are you what are you hoping to find up there? You either die a hero or you live long enough to become the villain. <laughs> or you see I'm live long sure enough to be the painted lines on the sidewalk, you freaking psychopath. Shut up. I'm the photographer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's where we're going to leave it. Let's do his one last thumbnail for the night. Um, let's see here. Let me get you guys fixed. Um, and so if you guys in chat have any ideas for thumbnails, make sure to throw them out in chat. See? I know we have a bunch already, but we can always use some more. Let me get you guys in place here. Go do that pose and look up at the camera. There you go. Very good. Very good. I may use this next week. You guys will see it. But for now, we'll be right back in a few minutes for our breakdown, everybody. We're going to go over the episode in total, talk about mechanics and our thoughts on the last two episodes. Maybe what's going to happen. Um, and we might even go into depth a little bit about our next campaign and our ideas for that. So have no fear. Come right back. And if you're watching here on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to go over and subscribe to Children of Proteus's channel down in the uh, show notes. Hey, and we'll be right back in a couple of minutes, everybody. Yeah.